In this video, I'm going to cover the new SVS Ultra Evolution Series speakers, as well as their most requested speakers ever. Before I get going, please subscribe. Uh, you know how much that helps. I appreciate it. I've got some stuff going on in here, so you know, stay tuned. I've got some changes happening. And yes, I know the TV needs to go up about two and a half inches. But some of you already know about the new Ultra Evolution Series from SVS. And this is just my initial take on it from what I've seen so far. I haven't heard them yet. But I'm going to give you some recommendations based on past experiences. I've had a good relationship with SVS since 2015. And I asked them to start their affiliate program. I wanted it because their subwoofers are definitely on point. It's not a sponsorship. It's not captive. I'm free to do and say whatever I please. And I'm free to promote any product from any company I want. You can look at YouTube affiliates like an electronic store or something like that. It works the same way. The last person you work with, they're the one that gets credit. So whoever you want to support out there, whether it's me or someone else, make sure their link is the last one you follow. Now, based on the SVS launches I've experienced in the past, this really reminds me of the PB16 Ultra launch. When the PB16 Ultra came out, I was supposed to get two, but I only got one a few months after launch. <laughs> Then I had to wait another four months before they could send out another one. They just couldn't keep them in stock, and reviewers like me are second priority to actual customers. So as much as I want to hear them right away and give you my thoughts on them, and they might be sold out for a while. So if these interest you and you can't wait to hear them, you might want to get them ordered sooner rather than later, because the way this sounds and the, the buzz around these speakers, I would not be surprised if these sell out pretty quickly. And if you do get your hands on them, I'm very curious to know what you think about them. My affiliate links are factory direct, which means if you're unhappy with them, the return process is truly painless. Not having to pay return shipping is a huge deal on something like this. Uh, I've had to pay several hundred dollars in return shipping for a set of subs to review. I really didn't like that. Now onto the speakers, uh, SVS, uh, they embrace things that work. And, and a great example of that is the split line voice coil and the PB3000. It basically makes an 800 watt sub hit and have the explosiveness of something like a 1200 watt subwoofer. And that's not some idea or analogy. That's something I've experienced firsthand. The difference between the PB3000 and the PB4000, one is 800 watts and the 4000 is 1200 watts. The difference in explosiveness with your eyes closed, you couldn't really tell the difference. That's how effective that split line voice coil is. It's, and what I like about these towers is the time alignment. Now, like I said, I haven't heard it yet, but for those of you that have done my distance hack, you've experienced the benefits of optimal time alignment. And to be clear, I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to take credit for SVS designing these Evolution speakers, <laughs> okay? Not at all. I'm just saying that time alignment is important. And much like my distance hack, they're putting the base more forward than a typical tower. In most towers, there's a slight time alignment disparity uh, because the tweeter cone is closest to the surface, the mid-range cone is a little deeper, and the base driver cone is the furthest back. Basically, they lined everything up so you get this new shape. Now, how much will it matter? Hard to say, but in my experience, they don't do things to keep up with the Joneses. They just do what works and what makes sense. Extra cost to manufacture more complexity doesn't help the manufacturer and doesn't help the consumer because it's costly for both. Another design feature I find interesting is the drivers in the back. These aren't passive radiators. They're active drivers that match the front drivers. But if you're tight on space and you need to put these really close to the wall, due to the shape and the design, that's not a problem. Granted, a little more room to breathe is always good. It's a good idea, but it makes it more accessible to those who don't have the perfect room. It's definitely a departure, and I look forward to hearing how the new design affects the sound. And I probably should have led with this. The new elevations. As I understand it, it's one of the most requested speakers to have an Ultra Series elevation speaker. The original Ultra Series is being phased out. It's probably still on sale now, but they just went straight to the Evolution Series. We didn't want to call it Ultra Evolution Elevation because uh, you, you feel drunk when you're trying to say it. And With a strong degree of confidence, if you're looking for an upgraded elevation speaker, this one's a no-brainer. The Elevations are one of the best-selling speakers SVS has, and it's the one I can blindly recommend to anyone. It's a staple in any home theater that I set up, and I'm not alone in that. There are other people that mix and match these speakers with other brands just because they sound good and they handle that Dolby Atmos DTSX duty a lot better than, say, something that reflects off the ceiling, all that nonsense. They're height speakers. They're angled down. I don't just use them for elevation. I use them for surround. 
and I've even used them as fronts and center. There's a reason they're that popular. Another tip I can comfortably give is that they design their speakers for the long run. And there's two things I mean by that. They don't come up with new speakers every year. We don't launch new products just for the sake of launching a new product. Like it's not like, oh, so-and-so version two, version three, version four, and you're like, what's, what's exactly the difference? Oh, you need to break in a little bit. They're not looking for the best possible sound right out of the box. They're looking for the best possible sound for the life of the speaker. And that's always been true of their speakers. When you first get them, they sound a little forward, maybe a little sharp, maybe perhaps a little uptight. <laughs> but after a few weeks, they really sweeten up, they relax, and you get the sound that was originally intended. So I would say don't judge them until you notice a little bit of a change, which will probably happen by week three or so for most people. And some people say that you need to run your speakers really loud for break-in. Yeah, I don't think you need to run these speakers like really hot and really loud to properly break them in. I just think they need basic use. Now, if it's doable and you want to get the break-in process done sooner, maybe leave it on a low volume playing some music during the day while you're at work or whatever. It's definitely not necessary. It's just a little tip for the impatient. There might be a few out there. I don't know. Hard to say, right? I'm also curious to hear the new diamond coated tweeters and overall how these speakers are voiced. Some people don't realize that the voicing process is such a critical aspect when it comes to making great speakers. The process they go through is pretty grueling. And just thinking about what they have to do, it gives me a headache. And I go through and listen to the same material over and over and over again. I imagine it ruins some of your favorite music doing so. Speakers are a personal thing. If you find a pair that you like, it's not just the components. More than you might realize, you share preferences with the people who are actually voicing the speakers. I know they go through a bunch of different crossover configurations, driver configurations, and really search for the best possible sound as a whole, rather than just being a list of components that get slapped together. The center channel and the bookshelves are going to have the same voicing as well as the elevations and everything else in the Evolution line. It's going to be good for two channel as well as home theater. And I'm working on a video specifically about being able to enjoy both. Two channel audio is a big deal. It's very high end and critical and you really have to be on top of your game to get any traction. And they know that. Being able to have this higher level of sound and still being able to use it in a home theater setting, really, that's truly the best of both worlds. And I understand there are a lot of people who are huge on two-channel, uh, and I don't begrudge them for it. I just happen to prefer the surround sound experience, and you don't have to look any further than the Eagles Blu-ray. Uh, I am really looking forward to hearing that above all else, because that's going to be full lossless audio produced specifically for surround sound through high-grade speakers. I just imagine it'll, it's probably going to sound pretty good. I have a friend who's really deep into the two-channel world. He's got a very specific room, tube amplifiers, and what I could easily classify as a museum of different tubes. Like he takes a set of tubes, plugs them in. It's a trip. Uh, it's really impressive. And the Evolution line would probably fit right into his style of listening. And look, as much as it sounds like I am, I'm placing no particular expectations on these speakers other than the general expectation that I've enjoyed SVS speakers overall. They seem to share the same preferences as those who voice their speakers, like Smith Freeman. What he likes in the speaker also seems to be what I like as well. And that's what I'm talking about. Speakers are personal. It's not like subwoofers where you can measure it and graph it and say, this is why the subwoofer is better than this other subwoofer and this is why it's important. It's not like that with speakers. It, it really matters what your personal tastes are and what you like and what you're looking for in your sound. So in that sense, I can't just blindly recommend these and say everyone in the world is going to enjoy them. That, that would be hyperbolic. I'm not saying that. I am saying that I have found their speakers very enjoyable. And SVS is excited about this line, and I would say a little bit more than usual. And it's not a cheap line of speakers, so it would be pretty unreasonable to think that the speakers wouldn't be impressive. They're not the type that go backwards when it comes to audio. And so I don't think SVS has ever made like a, a really cheap speaker, but there's always been a strong level of value for the money. Even with their least expensive speaker, the Prime Satellite, looking at those, you couldn't honestly say that they aren't high quality. Those things are built really solid and they're heavy for the size they are. Everything seems to be very well thought out and the sound agrees with that. And the Ultra Towers, which they're phasing out, have a really strong following. And according to a lot of people, they punch above their weight. I know I sure enjoyed them. I even put them in the motorhome project for a while. 
which looks insane. I, I get it. It definitely wasn't ideal. Definitely not practical. But man, it sure sounded good. And I, I really didn't want to take them out. So anyway, if you're excited about these speakers and you want to get your hands on them, I'd say don't sleep on them. That means it'll take longer for me to actually get a set to review, but I'm really glad they prioritize customers first because that's exactly how it should be. I appreciate all the support following my links, the likes, the comments, shares. Every bit of it is appreciated and truly humbling. As always, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. Goal has always been acoustic neutrality. We don't want to have like, oh, that sounds like an SVS speaker. We want to have it be a speaker that is transparent, believable, convincing, and um, refined. And that shouldn't be something that has its own sonic signature. It's a, it's a semi-random uh, pattern uh, based on a cellular structure. And so that all, that all meshed together creates a lattice that suspends the diffusing ring. So do you have too much time on your hands? Because it's a <laughs> lot of detail, and that is really cool. I mean, this, uh, some of the things that we've, we've put into these speakers have been the things that I've been studying and working towards my whole career. So it, I, can't, I can't believe that we're actually doing it. So, I mean, that's a great way to end this. Ultra Evolution speakers are the culmination of everyone at SVS's life's work to create great sound for everyone. Thanks. Happy listening. No, I cut that. <laughs>